Hi everyone! Welcome to the debut of the Black Pearl Creations channel. And what we're going to be doing with this channel is we're going to be focusing on fashion, the good trends, and the fugly trends. And of course, we're going to be focusing on crochet. So if you happen to have a question about fashion or crochet or trends or anything like that, you can send an email to admin at blackpearlstyle.com. And for today, we are focusing on what is quickly becoming a signature item of Black Pearl Creations, our chunky cows with the fringe. And what I'm noticing is that I'm getting some questions in regards to how to wear them. So I thought I'd show a couple of different ways that you could throw them on and uh, that way everyone could see how they can be worn. Now, the first one that I have is probably the absolute favorite. It's called the Fall Foliage Cow. Um, it has beautiful brown tones in it and everything. It goes with a beautiful brown coat, winter white coat, which I happen to have, a suede winter white coat and everything. Now what you do is if you have a cow with the fringe, okay, doesn't matter as far as the twist that's inside of it, doesn't matter where the twist is. What does matter is that the fringe is at the bottom when you're putting it on. So you're going to put it around your neck, okay, and then all you do is you take it, you twist it one time, and you throw it over your neck again. And that's it. You can pull on it, tug on it, you know, if you want it way up here to cover up everything, if it's a really cold, blustery day the way it can get here in New England, then you can do that. If you want it more down, so it's more of a neck, you can do that. And then, the fringe on this one is in the back. So that way, if you don't want the fringe showing, you can have it that way. Okay? So let's take this one off and put on another one so you can see another color combination. Okay? This one is the candy lifesaver life cowl, as I like to call it. Okay? So again, we're going to have the fringe at the bottom. Okay? You just want to make sure that it's straightened out and everything. But the fringe is at the bottom. Again, we're going to twist it around. Okay? Actually, we're going to put it this way. Alright? Twist it around, bring it back over your neck again. Okay? And then, we have the fringe right here. Comb it through with your fingers. Okay? And again, you can just pull on it, twist on it, tug on it. They're very durable, which is very good as well. And because of the twist and because of the colors in it, it should look like it's going in and out, up and down, all around and everything. Which kind of gives a different little look to it. So that way you don't look like you're wearing the same cowl as everyone else. Okay? So that's how you wear our chunky cows. Alright? You just put it on over your neck, twist it, bring it back over your neck, pull on it, do it however you want to do it and everything, and then that's it. You're all set. It's not going to fall off. It's not going to, you know, do any of those things like that. It's on. It's snug. It's cuddly. You know, that's it. You're done. Another way you can wear it too, some people, I know, I've done this myself, and it comes out very nice as well. And what you want to do is you want to, this is kind of the signature way that scarves are worn up here in New England, you know. And what you do is you take the cowl, and you have it lengthwise, you put your arm through it, you put this part through all around your neck, put the end with the fringe through the other hoop, you tug on it, and there you go. If you don't want the cow look, you can have the scarf look, just like that, with the fringe at the bottom. Okay? So I hope that that helped the many people who <laughs> were starting to contact me in regards to how to wear the cows, and um, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you, and have a great day.